Hello and welcome to the Build with Bear workshop. I'm going to wait for a few more folks to join us here uh, for the stream. Um, but right now, I'm just hanging out here in chat. We're going to let a few more people uh, join in before we go into our build, working on our death scythe uh, from Gundam Wing, the original death scythe, and we're building that on stream. Um, so yeah. Uh, oh, I want to thank Will Smith for hosting the stream. Thank you, Will. Um, if you're in the chat, why don't you throw that bear cave emote? Let me know that you are uh, a uh, subscriber. Uh, uh, yes, hello Waffles. Uh, thank you for joining me. Um, yeah, we're going to wait for a few more people to join us here. Um, I should say, uh, if you're not a subscriber, if you're just a follower, um, well, one, thank you for following and thank you for watching. But two, um, you can use your Twitch Prime uh, coin to uh, subscribe and it will be free. Or... You could save 20%. Uh, the sale's still going on. I don't know when the sale ends, but for your first month, if you've never subscribed before, you can save some money. Um, so that's something that might be worth doing if you'd like to support this channel and the streams that I do. I'll give you one second. I realize I fucked the thing up, so I'm going to go fix that, and I'll be back in a moment. Literally, 10 seconds. I had my fan on because it's very hot in my bedroom because I got the heat going. And uh, I uh, need to turn that down. Uh, Mr. Bob, thank you so much for joining me, us here in the chat. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming out. We're going to kickstart things off in just a moment. Uh, I should have just said kick things off, but I said kickstart. Uh, unprofessional Saturdays, am I, am I right? Waffles, you are correct. Uh, that was unprofessional of me. I should have turned down uh, that uh, much sooner, and I didn't. All right, so we got some people in the chat. I'm hoping a few more join us on a Saturday, uh, but I understand it's uh, January Saturday. People might be out doing their own thing. Um, let's go to the main feed. Uh, so this is work working on our desk site. I'm going to adjust this a little bit. There we go. Okay, I don't want to do too temperamental. Don't want to do too much with this uh, as this camera uh, could suddenly decide it doesn't like me. Um, and I don't want that. I want the camera to like me. Thank you so much for joining me here today for some streaming um, and some building. So, what have we built so far? Let's look at it. We've got the head. Now, as you as you may remember, if you were here on Thursday, I uh, dropped a piece. Some of the uh, gold flare uh, has fallen, and I have not been able to find it. It is somewhere in my apartment, and I will find it. Uh, it's somewhere here in my bedroom, but I can't find it right now. Uh, so then we got our uh, our chest area here, uh, and we've constructed one arm. We're going to build the other arm. We're almost done with the other arm, and then we'll start working on the legs, which will be a lot of, like, do one thing and then do the other on the other side because they are symmetrical. So let's finish up uh, here. As always, if you're building something in, uh, in general, um, I got uh, some people sent me some photos today of things they're working on. You can always do that during the stream, and I will retweet it once the stream has concluded. I uh, love hearing from you about the projects you're working on. If you're not working on anything, that's fine too, obviously. But yeah, if you're building any kits or, or doing any construction of any sort, uh, always feel free to let me know. Uh, if you're doing painting of model kits or, or whatever, you know, like you're, you're building some stuff, you're working on a Lego set, you know, please let me know. I love hearing from you. We'll do some anime talk because a uh, new season has started up. The Witcher season is in full swing this week. Uh, I think uh, next week a few more shows will debut. Um, and I watched uh, two series and started a third but did not finish that. Okay, so that's the end of our arm here. We're going to put uh, our shoulder piece in. Um, and then that will be the end of this arm. So I'm going to make sure I do this right. And I did. Great. And it wants us to go ahead and complete the upper body by putting these pieces together. So we're going to do that, even though I do have to fix this head at some point. So yeah, a new season of anime. Um, two shows that I liked, and then there's a couple that I'm going to get to probably tonight after this stream is over. I'll get to that, um, that I want to check out. Uh, Laid Back Camp is the first one. We'll talk about Laid Back Camp. Um, just real cute. Uh at the base of Mount Fuji, in the kind of late fall when no one really is camping, there's a young lady that sets up. We meet her. She seems pretty cool. Um, 
Waffles, you're right. Wrestling is a lot like anime. Don't let people tell you differently. Okay, so we got the upper body down. We're going to put that aside. Um, wrestling is very much like anime. Uh, it's, it like, it's like good anime. Um, all right. So, yeah. So, laid back camp. Pretty cool. Uh, we focus on a young lady who seems like pretty normal. She's into the camping, uh, even though it's cold. She's into it because it means that uh, less people are around to bother her while she like gets her while she gets her camping on. Um, and she seems like oh, this is gonna be the normal character. But there's some there's some moments of silliness. There's there's some levity to her character. Uh, she has a moment that's very funny where she's like chopping up wood uh, for a fire. And, like, pulls a blade and, like, says something, like, uh, something to the effect of, you will taste my steel. Just some dumb, like, samurai shit. Uh, it's, which is uh, very cute in, in the, like, oh, we're learning about this character. Uh, a little character development um, kind of a way. And then we meet another character. Uh, I believe her name is Rin. I cannot remember. Off the top of my head. Only saw one episode because it's new. Um. But then we met this, like, ditzy, weird girl. I think she might have been Sakura. Like, that might be her name. And the other girl is named Rin. I can't remember. But we're teased with the idea that these are going to become friends. Uh, these two young ladies are going to be friends. And then one is new to town and the other isn't. The one who's not new to town has some other friends that apparently belong to a camping club. Uh, so that's probably going to be a focus of the show. And also, there's teased that one of them owns a corgi. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, can't wait to see, uh, can't wait to see that, um, introduction, like, they teased me about a dog, and I hope the dog's in the second episode, because if a dog isn't in the second episode, I'm gonna be bummed, but yeah, so laid back camp, immediate, uh, in, can't wait for the second episode, I'm a little less confident in another show that I watched, which was, um, called Miss Kazumi, uh, yes, Mr. Bob, so, uh, Laid Back Camp. Laid Back Camp looks like a slice of life show, uh, but it's about, like, camping and young ladies being friends and, like, growing as people uh, and, like, becoming better friends. And uh, I'm just on board. There's actually, it seems like this season, there's not a lot of shonen stuff, and it seems like most of it is going to be, um, uh, there's a lot of all-female uh, young lady casts. Uh, I should say, not all female, but all young lady cast. That seems to be uh, uh, at least what Crunchyroll decided to uh, do. So, um, so yeah, so I, I'm interested in that show. Uh, the one I'm maybe not as interested in is uh, Miss Kazumi Loves Ramen Noodles. So, that's another, like, there's a mysterious girl at school that, uh, and then there's a girl who, uh, her character has been, her character gets described as, you always have crushes on cute girls. Like, you love cute girls. So there's a mysterious cute girl, and then a girl that has a crush on the mysterious cute girl. But it's probably not, like, into, like, romantically. It's probably just friendship, because, uh, in Japan. Um, but, uh, it did seem interesting. Um, Although, what ends up happening is this girl that's obsessed with ramen, that's the only time that she seems like a real nice person. And then the other times, she doesn't seem nice. Which is, you know, fine. She doesn't have to be real nice. But, uh, if the whole show is girl is mean, and then other girl is obsessed with her, and, like, too obsessed with, like, them becoming friends, like, I'm gonna bounce off that show, if that's all it is. If it doesn't have if, it, if they don't become friends fast, I probably won't keep watching. Um, but I'll, I'm definitely going to watch another episode, like I said. Oh, and because it's a, it's kind of centered around one character's obsession with ramen, they spend a lot of time making that ramen look real good. Like, I got very hungry uh, uh, Thursday or Saturday, or no, Friday. I watched it on Friday, and I got very hungry for ramen, which is a thing that I like ramen, but I don't, I'm not, like, obsessed with ramen. So, to get me that into the idea of ordering ramen, which I end up having for dinner, uh, kudos to the show. But yeah, it spends all, it spent, they spent some of the budget on fucking ramen. So those are the two shows I watched. Um, there are a couple others. Crunchyroll appears to be down at the moment, probably because there's new, uh, shows coming out. Uh, or they got, like, just, like, attacked for some reason. But, uh, I'm, oh no, yep, yeah, 
uh yeah there seems to be some errors here uh but i have a let's see yeah i have like something else queued up uh for crunchy roll um so i'm interested in seeing what that ends up like what they end up doing with a couple of these other shows but there's a a couple more like here's a bunch of ladies doing stuff shows and of course uh apparently there's a new card captor uh, sakura uh oh the intel mess is killing things well, that's totally possible um uh so yeah there's a new card captor sakura and i don't know if it came out the first episode's out yet or it's coming out but that sounds really cool um and there's some show about a bunch of boys that like all love um uh uh, uh sanrio that seemed kind of interesting i might give that a shot uh that, that was a thing that i i didn't th I, I was like interested in but haven't watched yet so already there's a few things i want to check out and of course i don't know overlord uh, first episode did preview some at some place uh so i can watch the fan sub of the first episode but i'd rather watch it legally um and that supposedly comes out next week so i'm excited about that um because i really liked the first season of overlord and i'm interested in the second one and uh yeah all right so we're doing off uh, the feet right now we got two of those and then we're gonna put f three and f4 on top of them um and this will be two of each so there are two f's so i'm gonna pull both f's out f is a very small sheet so it's pretty easy to see which pieces we need and of course as i said uh you're just pulling the same ones because we're doing both feet at the same time Uh, so as I said, it's early in the anime uh, uh, winter season, so I'm not expecting recommendations. But if you end up watching anything, you know, if you have any anime strike, if you're, you know, uh, Devil Man, there's a new Devil Man on Netflix. Apparently, I don't know if that's going to be weekly or if that's going to be a, a dump of episodes. I don't know the answer to that, um, but uh, I'm interested in that. Uh, I, I don't, I've been off and on with Devil Man over the years, so I, I'd be into that. Uh, but yeah, there seems to be a few things, and then there's like uh, a couple post-apocalyptic shows that are both coming out uh, on Crunchyroll, and so I will uh, tentatively give that a watch. Both of these shows, uh, Laidback Camp and Miss Kazumi Loves Ramen, both come out Thursday morning, so I'll be able to watch those Thursday afternoon, and so that's convenient for me, uh, because I'll be able to talk about them on uh, on Thursdays when they come out. Um, so that's about it. Yeah. So if there's anything that you're going to be checking out or, you know, regular TV chat's a little quiet tonight. I don't mind that as always. If you want to say something in the chat, you want to give me something to talk about, uh, I'll be more than willing to do that. Um, but yeah, so if there's anything you want to let me know what's going on in your world, it's very cold here in New York. I'll tell you that it's real cold. Uh, got a lot of snow uh still on the ground which uh the last time it snowed here in new york uh of this season the snow disappeared really quickly because it just got warm enough and it's already like so much of the city is above the subway system and that just means the streets are warm and so snow has a tendency to melt pretty quickly around here all right so we got parts of our feet done we'll have more to do with that momentarily i'm going to snip this piece right here got a little extra there i don't need that Good on this side. Okay. Uh, Waffles. Awesome. Game's done quick. 2018 starts tomorrow. Uh, probably watching that. Well, I'm going to be watching that during the day. I knew that. that. That's my Sunday. I'm working tomorrow night. But during the day, I'll certainly be watching some uh, uh, of uh, Awesome Game's Done Quick. Uh, Mr. Bob, you went to Civilization for clothes. Uh, Gundam and Bojangles. Got your MG guy in, and the Burning Gundam. The Burning Gundam. Oh, that's a great, that's a great looking kit. Um, that's awesome. Uh, and also, yeah, Bojangles. Um, I didn't. Uh, so apparently, the Charlotte Airport like redid a bunch of stuff. Uh, not, not the Charlotte. Yeah, uh, the Charleston. Charlotte has it. The Charleston Airport used to have a Bojangles. It does not anymore. So I didn't get Bojangles when I went to the airport uh, coming back uh from my folks place over the holiday so instead i got wendy's which i never get so that was good there's a couple wendy's here in new york but it's not 
They're never in a convenient place. So, and also, I'm trying not to do fast food all the dang time. I'm still going to do it, but I'm trying not to do it all the dang time. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Uh, all right, we're clipping some pieces here for F. So put that there. And then we'll clip the same pieces on the other F. Um, I have one other model kit besides this one. I have the um, double uh, the double X Gundam from Gundam X that is waiting in the wings. Uh, but after this uh, kit, I put up on Friday, uh, which was yesterday, um, a, a quick mailbag because someone who follows me on Twitter who watches sometimes uh, is going to. Um, what their name? Oh, their name is Coyote. They sent me a kit, so I'm building a Lego kit that they sent me from uh, from uh, Star Wars Rivals, which I've never built anything from that series. So excited about that! That's a Lego kit. That'll be next. Uh, Sector Seven says you're bummed that uh, there will be no Super Metroid to run this year. Yeah, but you know what? Think about it this way: next time they do it, it'll feel even cooler. Uh, I know it's hard, but you know, like they, I guess they want to make, I don't know, maybe they want to make room for other things or there wasn't an interest or it's at the point now where there's like nothing to be discovered, which isn't the point. I don't think should be the point of every run. I don't think every run should be trying to break a record or trying to show off something new. I think there is room for tradition uh, in that, but you know, I'm not in charge of it. So I'm not telling them how to run their show. And then uh, Mr. Bob, you went to, uh, Ludicrous Chicken and Beer. The Ludicrous Chicken. So, I'm going to say that that is a chicken and beer place that is owned by, uh, Ludicrous. And not a place that named itself Ludicrous Chicken and Beer. Which is a good name. But I'm very much hoping that that is a chicken place owned by Ludicrous. Uh, and good for him. Yes, okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Bob. Uh, Shenanigary, you picked up Butterfly Soup after seeing it on my Game of uh, the Year list. What a great experience. It's Oh, it's so cute and funny. Uh, I'm so glad you played that. Um, I'm very happy. Apparently, a few people checked it out. And in fact, uh, it ended up in the Giant Bomb database in the wiki because it was in my top ten and we needed a reference link. Um, I was very pleased to to be able to, to promote that game a little bit, you know, like, you know, I wish there was more indie stuff in my top 10, but I'm not expo as exposed lately, and also there were so many, like, A-tier games that came out that weren't, like, indie, that, that hit, said, like, it was a tough year, it was a tough year to be a small dev, um, uh, Chicken and Beer, it's a good name, Mr. Bob, I do want to say, my favorite ludicrous thing, because I never get to say it, is that when he hosted SNL, there was a, a sketch where either he played or someone else played. I cannot remember which, but there was a character named Rick Diculous, which was like, oh, just so fucking funny, because his name is Chris, and he's ludicrous, that it was like, Oh, you know, you know Rick Diculous, and I was like, Rick Diculous is such a great name and such a good bit. I remember uh, when Luda hosted; it was good. He did a good job hosting us it out. Uh, and working on our weird spike shoe bits here. I I don't know what to call them. I don't know why they're like this, but they are. I don't know why. Uh, Duo has these weird shoe pieces on the front of his shoes, but he does. Um, it's actually hard to get it on this piece on, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best with it. I don't know why. It always is a this always is a weird piece. Um, it's very tiny, and it's uh it's kind of hard to slip on. Uh, chicken and drink beer with Luda. Yeah. Uh, I risk losing my check bag to go. Uh. It was a southern U.S. focus. Ah. Much more than a gimmick. Huh. It's good to hear. Yeah. I mean, I, I like that. I'm glad it's not a gimmick. Uh, you know, but also chicken and beer sounds pretty good. Like, even if it was just like, 
whatever, Luda owns this place. Like, who knows? We don't know why. He does, though. Uh, that's still a cool, that's still a cool spot. Still a cool name for a, for a restaurant. Um, I am getting over a cold right now, so I apologize if my, uh, if I get a little loopy tonight. Um, I've been fighting it since I got back to New York, and the weather change has not helped my temperament at all. Or, not my temperament, but my ability to fight this cold has not been improved, uh, by the weather. Uh, okay, so I think I put this on wrong. So I put this like this. It goes like that. And then this goes on like this. Yeah, these little, uh, these little foot nubs aren't going on. They're not staying on like I would like them to. I'm going to see if, if I attach this first, if it'll work better if I attach it like that. It goes on like this here. Hmm. Yeah, it's this weird spike shoe thing. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna attach these, and then I'm gonna see if I can get it to uh, these little nubs to stay. And if they don't, that's fine. No one's looking at the bottom of this Gundam, am I right? I'll just put it in the box. Uh. Let's see here. What would you say? Um, I think they pulled it because the run now is a good chance of falling. Too mistake is made. I don't think they use save points. Uh, oh. I don't know what that means. Uh, hey, Pat. This is uh, from Paw Patch 15 uh, Another uh, Pat here with a quick question. What other types of building kits are there out there other than Gundam and Lego? Well, so... Um, uh, Mega Constructs is a company that makes like Lego-like products. Um, I've done some Pokemon here on stream for that. Um, of course, Lego is the biggest game in town when it comes to that style of, of construction. Uh, it, it'd be difficult to, to really like play with other things in that space. Mega Constructs certainly tries to hold its own. And then uh, the Bandai uh, company, Bandai Namco, but you know Bandai is what, really what we're talking about here, may, they do a lot of model kits. Um, Gundam is, is probably really plentiful, but any big robot show, you're going to find model kits for, um, including they just uh, announced, you know, I think right now just uh, one um, for Pacific Rim is coming out in April. Uh, as always, I recommend Gundam Planet. They do talk about more than just Gundam. Gundam Planet is a great resource for just, like, clicking a link and looking at some model kits and seeing what they've got. Um, that's a great resource. I don't have a great resource for products that are like Lego but not Lego. If anyone has an idea, they can always do that. Uh, Bandai also has Star Wars kits. We did two Star Wars kits here. We did uh, Pose. Uh, they're, they're both um, – both of them are, like – they're not graded. But I would I would I would call them real grades. They're like high grade, but a, a few twists and turns here or there. But we did the um, uh, pose boosted starfighter, and then we did a regular old starfighter, uh, which was cool. I'd like to do a tie fighter at some point. All right, so one of our leg pieces went on. Uh, this other one didn't, so I'm just going to put it in the box, and I'll take care of it later. But uh, those are our feet. Just about got uh, one more thing to put on there. Uh, we're going to put the bottom pieces on here. Um, in the top pieces, so we'll do that now. C1 and B9, so we'll get what we need there. B, C1 and C2, we'll do that because we're doing both at the same time, so we'll just clip what we need and get it done. Tamiya is a big manufacturer of classic military model kits. Ah, oh, that's a great suggestion. Uh, you're, and Waffles is saying you're doing a Y-Wing kit. It's like a model from the movie. Uh, yeah, I, I would I would take a look at the Star Wars. Like, Star Wars is a great jumping off point because, you know, it's very familiar. And, you know, you don't have to love a thing to build. But, you know, if you can – obviously, you can find a series that you love. It's very fun to build those series, um, things from that. Which is why I kind of focus on Lego on Star Wars because I'm, I'm a pretty big Star Wars fan. And so it's very fun – for me to build Star Wars kits. Um, I have some other Lego kits on my Amazon wish list, which of course I'll mention later. Um, Y-Wing is a great, I mean, I'm a sucker for the B-Wing because 
what, when the fuck do you see a B-Wing? Um, one of these days, I, I, I'll try to build one of those. Uh, but yeah, I've got some stuff on my Amazon wish list, which I'll link to later. Uh, a few other Lego sets that, uh, some Batman stuff, uh, some stuff that isn't, uh, Gundam, or sorry, uh, Star Wars. And then as far as Gundam goes, you know, that's mostly my model kits are, are all Gundam kits and Pokemon here and there. Um, I, uh, I'd be up for, for doing something else. I should, I should put some kits up on Amazon, my Amazon wish list that aren't Gundam model kits. I should put some other model kits up. That's a that, that's a a thing that I will endeavor to do. Um, I don't know exactly when, but I, I'll I'll update that. I think that's good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, waffles. I, we've we've probably oh Macross is awesome. Sector Seven. I was gonna say that Macross is awesome. But yeah, we might we might have talked about how B wigs are pretty cool. Uh, Celia says. Um, the mo their mod quality consistency, head, shoulders above companies like uh, Revlon Netflix. Uh, they're a step up from Bandai Step Together stuff. Yes. So uh, the Star Wars model kits, I've only done two, and they did feel a little loose. They felt like I needed, and also the, the kind of why I compared them to the real grade kits, because real grade kits feel like they're not done. They feel like they need a little bit more uh, effort and work than just a snap together kit you're going to find for for your uh gundam kit uh but i do recommend it um uh, let me go down here i've got some uh nearly bought the lego tie fighter silencer tonight you're looking for clothes oh yeah that's a good kit i love how much lego star wars stuff i have um somebody in chat or maybe it was on twitter i apologize i don't remember uh, recommend that I take some photos and I think I'm going to bust out a few of the kits that I have and take some, some photos of those, uh, of what I've built so far, as far as Lego star Wars, I have, uh, the only kit that I have on display right now is I have my millennium Falcon from force awakens on display because it rules. And I, I want, I want to have it out and be able to look at it when I want to look at it. Um, all right, great. So we got that in there. Got that in there. Now we're going to on the back end. These are F pieces. So we'll find our Fs, our tiny Fs here. Tiny folks. Uh, and we're going to finish off uh, our F sheets. Uh, these were small, so, you know, that's not saying a lot. Uh, does anyone know if necks uh, are still a thing? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh, last Brook, that giant, the giant Lego Millennium Falcon. Obviously, mine's huge, but they're the one that's bigger. A friend of mine has built that. A friend of mine has that and the original Ghostbusters uh, uh, firehouse set. And those are both incredibly large kits. But that Millennium Falcon is ridiculous. It's ridiculous to jump back to that. All right, so we're done with this F. Toss it over there into my apartment. Deal with it later. Um, that Lego set is just so big. It's awesome. I mean, mine's 1300. The one we built here on stream is a 1300 piece. I still don't know who bought that for me. Uh, I have, uh, three, I have two anonymous sets, uh, in Lego on deck waiting for, to be built. And I don't know who sent them to me. And I wish that people would tell me when they bought stuff uh, off my Amazon wish list. It's okay if you don't want to, but I wish I knew. Um, it's, uh, I would like to know, um, but I understand that some people don't want that to, the, that info to be out there. They'd rather just be anonymous benefactors, which is okay. Um, in a little bit, I'll put up all the promotional tweets, not personal tweets, but all the promotional information about, uh, what you can do to support me. Um, I throw that? What happened here? Did I toss that without? I may have just tossed a sheet without actually snipping the piece off that I needed to snip off. Let me, I'm missing a little piece here. So I might have just uh, jumped the gun. There may be a special order now, but both Ferris wheel those still talk. Oh. Hello, Zorbs, and welcome. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. Uh, Zorbs, hello and welcome to the chat. Everybody's had Zorbs. Um, I have to grab this sheet that I threw across the room because I 
preemptively threw it across the room. I did not. The piece, I had to get up twice already. We've only been going for half an hour, and I got up twice. Come on. Unprofessional. Uh, I'm back in place. I'm going to make sure I look okay uh, here in. Uh, things are going good on that end. Okay, great, 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 great. All right, I'm back. Ready to talk. Model kits and stuff. But yeah, I'm going to update my Amazon wish list. I think there's some things I could put in there that would be cool. All right, now I can toss this aside and I can put this together. Um, but yeah, um, I'll throw in some stuff that's not Gundam because uh, there might be some people that want to see. It might be nice to have options. As I said, uh, we're going to do the um, we're going to do a, a set that is from Disney uh, Star Wars Rivals, um, Clone Wars Rivals. We're going to do that next after we finish this. We got a ways to go on this kit. Uh, we're done with the feet, so now we're going to work on the legs. Um, we'll keep going on that. Um, yeah, that's kind of like, uh, it'd be nice to, to, you know, that one kit we did, that one Pokemon model kit we did, didn't take long. That was an episode, and that was mostly fucking sticker applications. So, I'd be up for doing uh, maybe a bigger uh, set that was a model kit that was not a Gundam. I remember having a good time building Spike's ship. From Cowboy Bebop, but that I also remember that didn't take long at all, and that was like basically a high grade kit. And so I, w I would want a master grade equivalent because I, I wanted to take like obviously like it's going to be pricey. All kits are pricey, right? But I'd rather work on something that takes a few episodes of the stream because uh, then I get engaged in it, and then we can talk about it, and also then it takes a little while, and I feel like everyone gets their money's worth on a kit, you know. Uh, all right, so we're doing XB here, uh, an XB. We're going to pop out the same pieces that we need for both. Uh, we're working on our legs, so we'll get those pieces together. Um, yeah, so if you're building anything, you're working on anything, you got some kits waiting in the wings, you can always send me uh, messages about that. I love seeing that. Um, and yeah, if you have suggestions of like model kits that you think I should maybe add to my wish list or things that I uh, should just go ahead and purchase on my own, I'll, I won't, uh, it'll be a bit before I make any more purchases. As I said, um, I'll probably start the double um, X from Gundam X. And then when I started that kit, usually when I start a kit, I want to make sure I have another kit waiting on deck. Um, and now that I have three Lego, I have breathing room on Lego, so it'll be a bit before I purchase any Lego. But um, since I only have one model kit for a little while, I want to make sure that I have um, that I have something waiting for me when it's time to go. I think it, oh, that makes sense, right? I think that makes sense. Yeah, as long as I always have something ready, that'll be good. Um, oh, Zoy! Oh, Zords! Man, I haven't thought about swords in a long time. Bread Bandit. Man, swords. Uh, the high-end master models are fucking incredible. Okay, I'm gonna. You know what? I definitely built a sword in my day, in my early days. I definitely completed a sword at some point. Uh, it's probably several swords. And I remember, yeah, those kits came together pretty well. Um, I don't know if I did the high-end high ends. But I did, like, pretty complicated ones. Yeah. I I could build a Liger. Uh, I wouldn't mind putting together a Liger. That that could be fun. Yeah, maybe I'll look in to see some Zords and see if they're available. Um, they're on Gundam Planet, Mr. Bob. That's great to know. Uh, yeah, as, as always, I'm, you know, going to see if they're on Amazon so I can put them on my wish list. Uh, my wish list, which I'll, you know, probably promote in a little bit. I'm going to finish these uh, leg pieces here, and then I'll um, do a more with it. Uh, so we'll do that. Yep, yeah, and then what do we got here? Bread Bandit is now following. Thank you, Bread Bandit, for the follow. Yeah, if you're not following, uh, why not go ahead and do that? That way you know when I'm streaming. You can set your notifications so you get an email or 
notification when I stream, which is Thursday and Saturdays. I'm going to do a bonus stream sometime in January. I'll make sure to promote it when that happens, but I'm uh, still testing that out. But I think I can do some uh, a bonus game stream, um, which would probably be Jackbox Party Pack uh, 3 and 4, because I haven't played much of 4, so I'd like to. All right, so now we've got a bunch of pieces together. We're going to assemble them um, as best we can uh, as we're working on our legs. Um, there's a gorilla full of guns. Oh, Mr. P uh, Mr. Bob, you really know how to, how to pique my interest. A gorilla full of guns. It's just like a great phrase to tell me about. Um, but yeah, I have to look into that. I haven't thought about Zords in quite some time. It's been a bit. Uh, all right. So we got one of these pieces that goes like this. And the idea is that it slides up and down. So we will put that where it needs to go. And put this on the other side. Making sure that we did this right. And yeah. And the idea is that this slides up and down. And basically, yeah, it goes this. And uh, let's see. Great. Yeah, so it slides in there. So when the knee moves, it moves as well. That's the idea. So we'll set that aside here. And then that goes into, let's see, here. That goes into that. And... This goes into that. We're just working on our, our leg here. Just working on the legs, making sure that we do everything the way we need to do it so that we set these up right. And then this little one goes in there. Great. All right, so that's one half of one leg, basically. We'll do the other thing on the other side. Uh, sniper Liger, that comes with a shopping basket. Uh, yeah, I, I have fond memories about uh, about Zords. Uh, I think the first series was cool. I think the second one, if I remember correctly, there was a whole series that was like post-apocalyptic. And then there was a Zord series, I remember, that was like um, just like whatever. And then there was, there was I def definitely there was at least one Zord series that was like a competitive race style show. Uh, but uh, I remember there being, yeah, a few seasons of Zords. just also a good name zords it's just a good name for anything but include but particularly a series about big robots yeah i should put some i should put some fucking zords on my wish list that sounds pretty cool um all right so then we put this piece goes we're doing basically we're just copying what we just did um uh, so it goes on here that goes to this, like that. Yeah, so we're, we're basically just doing this leg again. And we will continue to build our legs up in a moment. Um, oh, yeah, they had motorized kits. That's right, Mr. Bob. I, I, I don't think I ever owned one. but All right, so I'm going to put some stuff here in the chat. It'll be in the YouTube show description. Um, but... Um, First off, uh, I'm going to put my Amazon wish list in, um, whoop, if I can. Uh, for some reason, my Google Drive is taking a second to let me click on things. So, Amazon wish list, we've been talking about it, so I should might as well promote it. My Amazon wish list is the best way uh, for me to build stuff, is people buying things on that. I put things that I'm interested in that I think people would like to do to see. Uh, I will be putting some Zords in there now that we've talked about Zords. Uh, you can directly support me and let me buy the kits that I'm interested in buying by sending me money to my coffee or Ko-Fi. Um, and what, what happens there is I uh, take any money that goes there and that just goes into a fund where I buy kits. So that's a way you can do that. Um, you could subscribe here, directly here. Just jump in, uh, give me a subscription. Um, use your Twitch Prime. 
Um, it's on sale right now. You could gift someone a subscription if you, if you know someone that would like to stream. Um, my Patreon is another way to support me. I'm at $100 right now a month, which is awesome. It covers a lot of costs uh, associated with doing this twice a week. If I hit $150 a month, it's another $50 a month. Um, I will be able to stream three times a week. And there's some uh, rewards on Patreon you can look up. A dollar gets you a monthly Q and A that I do just that doesn't go anywhere else. That's just for those folks. Um, uh, and uh, there's a bunch of other benefits: five dollars and ten dollars. Um, uh, and then the last thing I want to do is promote is Emerald City Comic Con. If you're going to be in Seattle area the very first weekend of March, March first through the fourth, I'm going to be at Emerald City Comic Con for the first time. Um, I will be doing a Saturday evening panel. I don't think it's live streamed. I don't know if it'll be recorded, uh, but I will tell you about it. I'm going to have more details, including uh, the room number and the exact time. I'll start promoting that next week because uh, it's Mar as it's two months away. So I want to get the word out. If you're going to if you're going to Emerald City Comic Con, I'm going to be doing a Saturday night panel. It'll be up soon. It is Oni uh, presents. Uh, cards, uh, sorry, Secret Hitler with Friends. I don't remember the exact title, so that's a bad job. Basically, myself and Charlie Chu from Oni Press, we're going to be hosting a game of Secret Hitler. We've invited some awesome names, uh, people that uh, have drawn things and, and written things for Oni, but also just friends in the industry, uh, people that make uh, mostly indie comics, uh, are going to play Secret Hitler. A couple people will be playing for the very first time. Uh, it's the first time I'll be running for something as a panel. Um, we're hopefully going to film it. If we're not live streamed, I don't think we're going to be live streamed, so hopefully we'll film it and I'll be able to put it on my YouTube or it'll be on Oni's YouTube. I'm also going to be doing some stuff with Oni while I'm there. I'll have more to say about that later. But those are uh, the ways to support me. Um, and of course, you can subscribe here on Twitch. You can send me uh, some uh, bits. We don't talk about cheer often that here, but that's another way to support me. Um, but just give me a follow if you haven't yet, you know, or just hang out on the streams. Come watch the streams with me. That's a great way to support what I do here is to just be a person in chat and like, you know, hang out. Um, all right, we're going to keep moving on here. But yeah, I'm excited. I've never been to Emerald City Comic Con. Uh, it's my first time going. Uh, I thought about trying to do 404 and it was out there, but I figured yeah, it's my first time. And also, I'm out there at the, at the request, at the behest of Oni. Um, uh, so I feel like I should focus on that. It looks like I'm going to be doing some other stuff while I'm there that will be you'll be able to watch that will be for Oni. We're going to hopefully be doing an interview series about like stuff go, that's going on that day. So if you're going to Emerald City Comic Con, you can tune in to see uh, what we recommend you go check out. And then we'll be able to talk to a few creators of things uh, for uh, that make things for Oni. Some of their creators there. Because um, one of the things that we want to do is people people know about Oni because like they know about Scott Pilgrim, right? They've watched, they read Scott Pilgrim, so they know about Oni. They know about some of the other books they've published. They've, they've published quite a few things that are rad, but they mostly know the creators because they're a creator-focused um, uh, publisher. But they don't really know the people behind it, and they should. Uh, I'll tell you right now, Charlie Chu is one of my favorite people in the world. He works for Oni. Uh, he works now. He wor He's worked all for everything in their publishing arm. Right now, he's focused on, like, other development stuff. They have a, a Scott Pilgrim board game. They're very they're very happy with. Uh, there's a few other things that they're working on. Of course, also uh, their their first ever really licensed thing. The thing that they like was already a thing, and they made a comic book of it. Is they do the Rick and Morty comic, and that's people love it. They do a new Invader Zim comic that that is really good that I really like. Uh, they've worked on a few things. Um, obviously, they are uh, helping me get out to. Uh, Emerald City, and I'm doing some work with them. So, you know, you take the things I'm saying with a grain of salt, please. Uh, please do that. But also know that I think they're a rad company, and I'm small enough that I don't work with bullshit. I work with, co I work with cool, awesome people because I can be choosy because I, like, it's not my job. It's not my day job. Uh, I'll say that. Um, you're a Seattle person, so we don't have any recommendations uh, and such. Uh, Lurbia, Arena, Lurbina, thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. Um, 
unfortunately, when it comes to conventions, I am usually always at the convention center. Um, uh, but I, I know a few places in the Seattle area because I've been going to PAX West or PAX Prime before that uh, for years. So, and then, then I go, uh, what is it, Octopus, uh, Six Arms, Eight Arms? There's a place at the top of the hill that I get brunch every every PAX uh, that I remember I always really like going. And it's just far enough up the hill that it's not super crowded with uh, fucking nerds, uh, of which obviously I'm one. Um, okay, so let's see. We're going to put this on here. This goes like this. This goes somewhere. I don't know where. Uh, that, I guess. I'm not really sure how this attaches, but we'll figure it out. And then XB4 locks it in. Um, but I really love Seattle. I'm excited to go back there. I'm also like, uh, let's be real. I, obviously, doing this this live stream is a thing that I really wanted to do, and I'm really happy that I started doing it in 2017. But one of my goals for 2018, that my, this has been my goal for several years, is to start traveling to conventions for other people, not just for my own stuff and not just to see friends, but to be uh, a part of other people's like business stuff and start making that uh, part of my uh, career. Is, uh, is supporting other people and then the work they're doing. Um, I'm really interested in, in that and doing, like being a host of things and then doing that kind of work. That's something that I'm very much interested in doing. I'm gonna cough, excuse me. <coughs> As I said, getting over a little bit of an illness still. Uh, so I apologize for coughing. Um, all right, so this goes, this goes here. All right, and that goes like that. Oops. And that goes like that. Okay, so we're figuring it all out. This is basically a thing is going to stick out of that. So we have to get it kind of right how we want to do it. And it'll allow us to move that piece up and down. I didn't describe that well, but okay. So yeah, we're working on that. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm very, very much interested in in hosting and and presenting and doing all that. And the idea is that I'll get my feet wet, get an understanding of what of who goes to a convention like uh, Emerald City, and then also if I'm doing stuff there this year, it'll be easier to do things on my own next year without having that. So, Mr. Bob, we did the book. Here's the thing about the bomb cyclone. It didn't really fuck up the city too much because we're used to the snow. We, we like they closed schools on Thursday. They maybe didn't even need to, but this current uh, city administration is is pretty focused on like not getting fucked over by that and like you know n like oh we're not gonna cancel and then like it's awful and then kids are trying to get to school and they shouldn't um, you know try to keep people off the roads if we can. Uh, so that the, we've been pretty good about that. Uh, it's not going anywhere, so I'll say that. The snow is here to stay for a bit, which usually it, it, dissip it dissipates pretty quickly. It has not. Um, so that is a little annoying. One of my neighbors is a building, uh, it's a complex on the corner. Um, they did not fully shovel uh, around their building. Everyone kind of, uh, the sidewalks, everyone takes care of their own, and they did not, and so that is very frustrating. So you end up like walking in the street because there's enough snow and it's cold, so it's it's heavy snow. Um, okay, so that this piece should have not popped out, so I have to shove that back in there. All right, we'll do that. I don't know why it didn't, but it should have stayed. Lock that in there. Lock that there. All right, yeah. So now we're uh, we're gonna finish. We're working on our legs here. We're gonna finish up most of the legs, and then we'll add detail, obviously. But we'll get the skeletal part of it done. Uh, after doing so many real grades, I kind of like having this these this type of skeleton back after doing the real grades. Um, yeah, I, like I said, uh, the the weather is fine. I got a cold again after kind of getting over it. The temperature dropped. Uh, the wind was very bad in parts of Manhattan. Not so much in Brooklyn where I'm at. Uh, I managed to avoid that, which is awesome because the snow sucks. So avoiding the snow, or not snow, the wind was, was very pleasant. I'm very happy that I was able to do that. 
Okay, so we did this here. Now we're going to do a little bit of the outer stuff. Um, I guess we're going to work on one leg, and then we'll work on the other here. Uh, oh, no, we'll do both of these. Okay, so that's uh, B5 and H16 or H15, depending. Uh, so we'll find the pieces we need here, B and H. We don't want to be in one age. Uh, all right. So yeah, so we're right now we're we're just working on our leg here. It's going pretty good. Uh, no complaints about this kit. You know, no, yeah, there's nothing to complain about when it comes to this model kit. It just it's just one of my favorite Gundams. Uh, as as mentioned, the Death Scythe is my fa if not my top favorite, it's in the top three. I'll say that. Oh, um, let's talk about this. A cool thing I did yesterday was I went to the uh, Giant Bomb East offices and we recorded the second and final part of our, of uh, the thing we started during the holiday uh, of our role-playing game uh, run by Mr. Austin Walker. Um, we did the second episode. Uh, it turned out great. I'm fucking psyched about it because uh, I've done a little bit of the system that we played in. Uh, also, I was very happy because the first episode of it, the first part of it, we did, uh, we were all on, uh, what, what was it? Oh, we were all on um, Skype, or not Skype, uh, we did Discord. We were all on Discord, uh, which is fine, but I'd much prefer how we did the second one, this part that we were, that we recorded yesterday, that will go up next Friday in the, um, the giant Beastcast stream. Um, I was really happy because we were all together. Uh, and that was really cool. Um, yeah, we did the second episode, Zorbs. Uh, and uh, Lerbia, thank you uh, thank you for saying some nice stuff about it. I had a ball doing it. I really, really love um, doing uh, uh, role-playing games. And I think Austin made such a smart choice with, with this system because it's something that Dan could kind of jump into and feel uh, feel okay doing uh, with us, which I was really happy about because I wanted Dan to feel comfortable. I also, like, let's be real. I didn't want to spend a lot of time convincing Dan while we were doing it that he should be doing it with us. Like, I don't have time for that shit. Um, but having Dan play basically himself as, like, an 80s, 90s action person was really fun because it, it – it meant that he could, like, basically just tap into a fantasy and play that, which is, like, what we're doing. Um, yeah. Uh, you're totally right. So the, the thing about Dan is that, like, you know, like, obviously, like everyone else, like, including myself right now, you play stuff up, right? He plays stuff up for the camera. I do generally think he does it under – he took a long time for him to understand why – he was like why people role play and now i think he has a better understanding of why we enjoy it and why austin would enjoy it i think that's actually the biggest roadblock for him was like he he did he understands like oh we're playing and it's fun but he really didn't understand why austin would want to like gm or dm uh and i think i did an okay job I, and i've used that example for a few other people that kind of know giant bomb stuff is like imagine that like the editor of, uh, yeah. I'm, oh, so what does it say? Well, how did I put it? Imagine how Vinny likes to play open world games, and what if you were cool with that and you could respond to that and play off of it? And I think that he kind of understood that once I described it that way, of like, oh, we want to see where you go with things, you know. Uh, to, to give an example from the first from the first part, um, that's pretty telling is that did Austin think that uh, the snake trains, the train snakes, were going to be such a big integral part of the story? No, he didn't. He just put that in as a cool detail. But, like, Dan was just like, this is a thing that I think is awesome. So Austin ran with it. He didn't think about who created the train snakes. Like, he didn't think about that ahead of time. But he saw that that was something that, Dan was really into, and then we became into it, and he played with it, because Austin is a very good GM. God, I, I do a little DMing. Um, I'm, a, I'm a good werewolf 
uh, narrator. I'm very good with Werewolf. I understand th that game and how to make that game fun and engaging and, and keep it moving. Uh, so I'm going to do, I think I'll do similarly well with Secret Hitler. But when it comes to other systems like even Fiasco, like I have trouble with Fiasco here and there. Um, just keeping the story moving and keeping pace with it. Especially because most of the time, if you're kind of running Fiasco, you're also playing Fiasco. Uh, so it, it can be a little difficult. Um, all right, so we're doing we're doing some armor here on both sides, front and back armor. Uh, we'll do one sheet and then we'll do the other, and we're just putting yeah we're putting some white armor here on our legs. Um, yeah, it was fun. Uh, yeah, uh, last book you're right. Uh, it it was funny because like it was that also like. I didn't expect Dan to remember everything about like the characters that we had played previously. I don't even know if he listened to the other episodes that we did. Um, it, it was really good. There's a, a couple things that happened in it that I think are awesome. Obviously no spoilers with this recording, um, but I had a great time doing it. And they also, Vinny needed something because Alex is on vacation next week. Um, Vinny has like a thing on Thursday next week, a doctor's appointment he said. Uh, as I said, Alex is away, and uh, Jeff is at CES. So uh, Jeff Bacalar. So he he definitely was looking for some content for next week for the podcast, and we we managed to make it work in our schedule, and I'm very happy about that. Uh, especially Austin. Austin is a busy man. Uh, so uh, so Mr. Bob. Uh, yes, it was the holiday episode of the Beast Cast. So it was whatever the last one of the year would have been the december one um so two episodes ago i guess not this past one but the one before it was the first episode in it and then it might have been called like the beast cast holiday special or something like that i don't know i don't know if any numbered it but this next one which goes up next week he did number so that's official um okay so so we're just putting some armor on. We're going to put some armor plating on our figure. Um, we'll get that. Oops. Oops. Oh, no. Dropped a piece, but it was easy to pick up. So I'm not worried about it. Yeah, but it was uh, overall a really fun uh, experience. I love role playing and I love like having having fun with my friends. And those that crew is great. I mean, any excuse to have Austin, uh, December 29th episode of the Giant Peace Cast. Thank you, Lesbrook. Um, uh, that was the first episode, and this will be the second part of it. Um, any excuse to have Austin run a game, right? Like, and to see them, because they're all great people. You know, I'm uh, a bummed I don't get to see folks, even though, because they have, you know, they work during the day, and they work very hard, and especially at the beginning of the year, they got to get back up to it. Um, uh, I'd love to uh, do an, uh, a role-playing game. My So one of my goals for 2018 is to do a one-off uh, fiasco with Danica and Abby. Cause, uh, and, and Danielle. I want to do Danica, Abby, and Danielle as my... Uh, and do a, a game of fiasco and run that game. Because I just think that would be so fucking good. Um, and I don't know, like... I put it up on SoundCloud or something. I don't know. We we maybe we shoot it as a video, uh, and I can put it on my YouTube. But like, I'm not saying that's gonna happen. But I'm saying that's like my wish list, like my short wish list of this is a thing that I would like to see happen in 2018 is to run a game of Fiasco with the three of them. Because like, Danielle is uh, Danielle Brando is so hokey and wonderful, and I love her to death. She's so goofy and silly and playful and Danica's so fucking smart and interesting and engaging and creative and Abby's a great improviser and like totally takes care of the other people I love playing fiasco with improvisers um because I think in some instances um improvisers uh can be kind of selfish uh when it comes to like getting their laughs in for games like fiasco but they they kind of disappear into a role uh, I definitely said that I missed the perfect opportunity to play a sentient car. You're totally right. Um, 
yeah, I wish that Abby, I mean, I'm happy that Abby went on a really cool, what sounds like a very cool vacation that ended with some really tough travel on her part. I'm sure we'll hear about that soon um, in more detail. Uh, I'm sorry that she had tr travel troubles, but uh, yeah, it would have been great to play with her. Probably would have had too many people, and then, you know, maybe I wouldn't have been able to do it. So I got, I got to do that. That was my, actually my big fear was that Vinny was not going to have me do it this, this last one. Uh, because of how many folks joined uh, the podcast since last December, I was like, "Oh, I'm the, I'd be the odd man out." Um, but luckily, that didn't happen. Um, it, I benefited from Abby being on vacation, basically, um, and it would have been weird to, to bum me out. But if they were like, "Hey, we got too many people that work here," I would have, I would have understood. Would have been bummed, but I would have understood. Uh, there we go. All right, we got here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Abby playing a city car. That that's the universe for that to happen, and so it could have been cool, but who knows? Next year, uh, Austin will run a different game, and maybe we'll have Abby join in. Uh, who knows? Who knows what? Who knows what? What, what December will bring? Right. Um. Anyway, uh, I'm going to try to film that Secret Hitler game. If it's not going to be live streamed, because like, like I said, I don't know if it is or not. But even if it's not, I'm going to try to stream it from, or uh, record it for this channel. That's my goal. Um, I'm also getting my uh, stuff together for uh, next week. I'm putting all my pitches in uh, for PAX East. That's the next one there. I've got a hotel room set up. I'm hoping that I'll be able to cancel that. And do an Airbnb instead with some friends and save some money. Um, that would be great. Because right now I, I'm thinking about the money I'm going to spend on a Boston hotel. And I'd much rather do something else. So hopefully that, that'll work out. That's the goal right now is to is to figure that out. Do, do an and also, if I'm in an Airbnb, that means I can do a live stream. Because the internet would theoretically be better. Uh, than certainly a hotel. Uh, I will be in a hotel when I go to... Um, I don't know the dates that I'm going to be out there. I, like I said, I know I'm doing a panel on Saturday. I don't know if they're going to bring me out on a Thursday or they're going to bring me out on a Friday. If they bring me out on a Thursday, what I'll do is I'll do a live stream that Wednesday um, so that I can live stream with y'all and, and have some fun. And we'll do like a Wednesday, maybe afternoon, maybe evening, depending on my schedule. Um, if I can take the night off and do an afternoon, I'll do that. If not, I'll do an evening. Um, and then um, that Saturday, I'll put up a YouTube video because I'm going to be, I know that I'm going to be in a uh, hotel and I can't, I can't imagine that the uh, internet, even if it's wired, is going to be good enough to stream. So instead, what I'll do is I will do um, a video. Um, that'll go up on my YouTube. I'll do a special. I'll build a kit. Maybe I'll finally build that Char uh, Charizard uh, that I have. So that'll work on next. All right, so we're, we're going to be putting our legs together in just a moment. I'm finishing up some last minute uh, pieces here, some last pieces, and then we'll put it all together in a moment. Um, but yeah, uh, th there is a chance that I might, I might be able to hook something up with like Going to a friend's, because uh, I have a few friends that live in the Seattle area that maybe I could schedule. If my schedule is open enough, I can do that. But also, I would like the idea of being able to fly across the country and not bring all my gear. Like, bring my camera, but not bring, like, a bunch of webcams. <laughs> um, so, I, I like the idea of, of uh, focusing on my panels, and but I will definitely make some content for you all that will uh, be able to run on YouTube while I'm there. And then I'll film stuff and then hopefully get that up for everybody. Just to give you something. Um, all right, and then let's put this other thing here. Right. Got another 25 minutes or so of the stream. We'll, we'll be finishing up our legs for sure. And we'll start on some other parts. I know we've, we've still got the backpack to build. We've still got the torso to build. We got to put it all together. We're going to be working on our torso next once we finish uh, all our leg pieces. 
But let's get this together here. Yeah, looks good. Do a little snipping, a little fine too, using our snipper clips as always. Uh, hello, Isk. Welcome. I'm going to give you the Bear Cave emote right back. Um, as mentioned, uh, I've said this a couple times, Alexandra, uh, Zandra, 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 uh, who just has a new um, book out, uh, has a new light novel that uh, she just published. Uh, so you should look that up. Um, is going to be doing, she did the uh, Bear Cave emote. She's been working on another emote, um, which will be for my, for my soul, for Iron Souls, my soul 999 uh, subscriber. We'll be getting a custom emote just for them and me. Um, of course, I'll use it as well. Uh, I don't know why they made it like this, but this piece folds out, which is stupid. So I'm going to fold, I'm going to tuck that in, make my life a little easier. Uh... All right, so now we're going to work on the fine-tuned parts of our back legs. We're working on our right leg and then our left leg. So we can put this, we'll put this stuff up here for now. We'll get to it in a minute when we put it all together. Um, all right, so let's build that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have one. Um, and you know what? I've been, it's not final yet, but I'll tell you what it's going to be. Because maybe... Uh, oh, you finished your first Gundam. Please send me photos on my Twitter account if you haven't already. Uh, I think you actually did. You you sent me some stuff, right? Uh, I think you did earlier, but if you didn't, make sure you do. I think you did. Um, but congratulations, Isk, on uh, putting together your first Gundam. That's rad as hell. Um, oh, so what I was saying was um, I finished, uh, I uh, commissioned, and it's going to be a uh, Lego minifig head, but it's me. Instead of a minifig, a regular minifig, it's my stupid face. Uh, so that's going to be our next uh, emote. Um, and that will be available for those that are in the $10 level. And I'll be using it as well because I'm at the $10 level because it's my stream. Uh, so that's going to be our next one. And I think that's stupid and great in a way that I'm really into. So I'm excited about that. Uh, but yes, Isk, thank you. Uh, congratulations uh, on uh, doing your first kit. I love that. Uh, that was a thing that I didn't think about when I started doing this. I thought people who like like doing model kits would enjoy the show. I thought people that like the dumb stuff I do on the internet would, uh, the you know, the mostly positive stuff I do on the internet would like uh, this as well and be into this. But I didn't think about the idea that people would start doing models uh, because uh, I have been doing it. Uh, I didn't think about that. So that's very cool and weird. Cool and weird. Weird and cool. All right, so we're going to put this leg piece on here. That goes like that. And then we're going to do the other side right now, because why not? But yes, congratulations. Last Brooke, I'm not an enabler. I'm a... Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what term. I don't know what term you would use for that. Uh, no. Uh, I'll be like, yeah. I'm a brand ambassador. Thank you very much. Ugh. I can't believe I said that out loud. I apologize. I apologize for claiming to be a brand ambassador. Uh, certainly not. Although, uh, especially because my friend Alex um, has been working with uh, with D and D. Uh, they they have a job with. Uh, with wizards and they've been doing some D&D &D stuff, which is rad uh, and Greg Tito who like we're like friends uh, and mutual uh, admirers um, Greg runs a bunch of stuff for for wizards for D&D &D stuff like all the twitch stuff any of the social media That's Greg and I'm a real admirer of what he's been doing with the brands uh, not just from like like really promoting C team stuff with with um, packs and stuff like that, uh, but also just in general um, all they're doing to kind of modernize D and D and really promote it, like streaming of it. Um, I, I'm really, really impressed with what they've been able to accomplish. Um, it's like I've been looking at that, kind of looking at other things, being like, all right. Um, I'm definitely on the lookout for another kits now. Local stores have very little stock, but. Isk, I totally agree. Um, if I was only buying kits for myself, then I would go to like Image Anime, uh, 
uh, which is the local shop that I, I bought um, the Wing Gundam uh, from Endless Wallace, the one with the wings. I bought that um, from a mom and pop store. Uh, I would say uh, look in malls. Mall kiosks are probably going to be your bread and butter, you know, in, in parts of this country. I think, like, that's probably going to be uh, your best bet uh, for finding things that that are things that you want. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think that's going to be probably uh, your best bet for finding things is to um, is to look at uh, uh, yeah mall kiosks and mall mom and pop shops are, are where you're going to find that stuff. Probably, you know, could be could be other places, but that's where that's where I'm thinking you're going to find the things that you're looking for. Hmm, sorry, I got some phlegm in my throat. I apologize for that. That does not make good radio. Uh, give me one second, folks. All right, a little bit of water. That is helpful. Uh, two kits you haven't seen started yet. Hope to pick up third by the end of the month, Lost Brook. Hell yeah. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. Obviously, I really enjoy doing these streams. That's a huge part of why I'm doing this is because I enjoy the streaming aspect of it. But I also really just love building. I, there's something about, like, you know, what did we do today? Did we finish the arm? We put together the, the base here, which I'll turn around so it's kind of facing you. We're going to finish the legs in the next 15 minutes, definitely, and start in the torso. Like, we've accomplished something. It's, you know, it's not like you know, we're not curing diseases or anything, but we're like doing a really cool kit and you're here hanging out with me while I do it. And I don't know, I, I feel pretty cool about it by the, by the end of it and how it looks. Um, and like, I don't know, it's, it's nice to just start something and then have a finished product. I look at the kits that I've built on the stream with a lot of pride about how they put together and how they look and, and then also that you enjoy it, that you're having fun with it, and then if I'm encouraging people as well to, to try to build kits their own, to give it a shot, I think that's awesome. I'm so happy about that. Uh, building this gun really reminds me of building Zords at Uh Zoids at Tunisia. I was thinking Zords instead of Zoids. Uh, yeah, it's just it's just fun. I'm, I'm happy about that. I, I just like, yeah, I just enjoy the, the build of it and doing it. Um, so I'm glad that you all can enjoy it too. All right, so we are almost ready. I gotta find uh, C19 and C29. Getting a lot done here with this. Uh, six, eight, nine. Okay, great. Yeah, so we're almost done with our legs, which is awesome. And then we'll start the torso, and then we will continue uh, in our next. Uh, episode on Thursday where we will wrap up our um, where we'll do the crotch area the low the lower torso uh, and then we'll do the backpack and then we'll do the death scythe and that should take us all of next week's episode we should finish up next Thursday and then we'll start on uh, next Saturday on another kit uh, that's my guess anyway um, it might, it might go long. It might take more than next week to finish it up, but yeah, we've got to do the waste and we've got to do the assembly of that and the backpack and the skirt isn't much on this kit. Skirt's really easy to do. And then the backpack is pretty simple to put together. And then the death scythe and the buster shouldn't take too long. So it might, it's going to be a full episode on Thursday of doing this, but it might take, it might, we might have to, you know, go a little long until Saturday with it. But I'm not complaining about that. Um, all right, so let's do this right. Let's make sure I'm doing this accurately. Oh, yes, that's right. It goes through. I was like, what am I doing here? Um, as always, the first time I do it, it takes a little longer than the second as I'm trying to figure this out. Um, all right, yeah, that looks cool. And we do the other for the other side here. 
Let me scroll back here in the chat. Great. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this. So yeah, uh, on Thursday, we continue our building. Um, hopefully by next week, I'm going to announce when I'm going to do my extra stream. It, it might be an afternoon stream. It might be a, fr might be a Friday night stream. Um, but I'm, I'm still testing. Uh, and I'll give you plenty of notice when I'm going to do my extreme. My extreme will be video game themed. It won't be another uh, uh, model kit. Um, it'll be like a bonus where there we play some Jackbox stuff, or I'll make some uh, meta decks in Hearthstone and talk about uh, Frozen Th Throne and talk about um, uh, the latest one, the Kobolds and Catacombs, uh, which has been really cool. Um, a very cool expansion of uh, Hearthstone that I've been really into. I'm going to talk about that. Yeah, so that'll be a bonus. Like I said, it won't be a, a regular stream, but I'm uh, I'm playing around settings with my laptop, even without buying the extra RAM, which is still something I'd like to do, but right now isn't feasible. It's on my Amazon wish list. If you want to buy me some RAM or a graphics uh, enhancer thing, uh, you feel free to do it, but obviously no op no obligation with that stuff. Uh, but it is it would be cool. All right, so then we're going to put our leg pieces on here. Uh, that locks on that. And then that locks on like that. All right, we're just about done with our legs. Hell yeah. And there we go. Two legs are done. Like that. Great. So we've now done... Uh, We've now done uh, quite a bit of this kit. Um, we will now move on to the waist, and we'll do that for a couple minutes, and then we'll wrap up. Um, so thank you for joining me as we get close to finishing this up. We're almost done with uh, our PC parts here, our little rubber pieces. Uh, PC5, PC4, great. And uh, XA, and these are all XA pieces, great. So put that there. Um, we'll find XA, which is this one. Well, that going. Um, yeah, so I, I hope you enjoyed tonight. I'll have more anime stuff to talk about next week. I'm going to watch a couple things while this is uploading for my Patreon. Uh, $5 plus supporters will get access to this archive tonight. Everyone else will get it tomorrow. Uh, tweeted completed pictures for you. Thank you so much. Uh, Isk, I'll be retweeting those uh, while I upload this video uh, a little bit later tonight. Um, I love being able to do that because uh, it does, I think, inspire some people to give that a shot. Uh, I think it's cool. And, you know, every once in a while, someone pops in here because I got my Game of the Year stuff, which is still up there in Giant Bomb, and a few other things, and ask some questions. And I do my best to answer. I always do my best to answer uh, when I can. Um, because uh, I'm no expert, but I do enjoy doing this stuff. I enjoy building with all of you. Uh, and I'm happy when people give it a shot. Um, I just kind of organized all my kits. Uh, because I have so many <laughs> kits that are done. And then I have a bunch of waiting in the wings. I have three Lego kits. Um, I have a ATST, a hover tank, and the kit the, that I forget the name of. Um that was sent to me by Coyote that I'm going to be doing next. Uh, so I have those things. And then I also have um, um, uh, the Double X Gundam from Gundam X waiting for me as well. So I have a few kits. I'm going to be good for a little while uh, before I have to either purchase something or if someone sends me something from the Amazon wish list, then I'll have that ready as well. And like I said, I'm going to put... Uh, I'm going to put on my Amazon wish list uh, some Zords or some other, at least very least, other model kits that aren't uh, Gundam to give people some options. All right, so let's do that. We'll, we'll just do this for a couple more minutes. We'll do a little bit here. I dropped a sheet, but I don't think I'm going to need it. I've got to blow my nose, so that's also a good indication that it's about time to wrap up. But we'll uh, we'll finish step eight two and then move on from there. Um, We'll just do a little bit here. Uh, we're just working on our waist or our crotch, lower torso, whatever you want to call it. Um, I hit a point. I haven't talked about Fallout 4 tonight. Um, 
as you know, uh, if you've been watching, I've been mostly focused on settlement building, but now I'm kind of playing the plot, and I'm, now I'm going past where I went in my previous plays. I hit the point now where I went, I've finally visited the Institute, and uh, originally I was just going to be like, I'm out of here later, y'all suck, y'all go suck an egg, I don't care if you're my son, this is all fucked, but uh, because I'm helping the railroad out, uh, primarily, I'm, I mean, I'm a minute man, I'm, I'm running the minute man, right? But I, there's something about like helping the railroad. I mean, they fucking, fucking Bethesda calls it the railroad. Like it's the underground railroad. I've, I want to help. So I have to be kind and nice to the Institute in order to, um, uh, further along a few storylines for uh, uh, for the railroad. And then I guess there is a way it sounds like there's a way to like make it so that the Brotherhood still likes what you're doing and uh, at the end of the game and the railroad and the Minutemen, there's like a way to do all of it, but I'm like, I'm not really into that. Uh, I'd much rather uh, be railroad focused. Because I think that the railroad is cool. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at with that game. Is my update for Fallout 4. Uh, Alright, and that goes here. Like that. Uh, and... What's happening here? Hoping everything's cool, but uh, something's going weird with my computer, and I hope that everything's good. I hope y'all can still hear me. Uh, at the very least, it's being recorded. If live stream failed, at the very least, my recording should still be going. Um, but things seem to be a little weird here on my PC. So hopefully, everything is cool. Um, uh oh, okay. Had uh, some drop frames there. I think it might be the internet more than anything else. Um, but I'm going to wrap up because things are seem to be a little weird here um, on my computer. So hopefully the recording is working and you can hear that. If you didn't hear the last parts of this episode, I apologize for that. Um, but uh, I seem to be having some computer difficulties. So I'm going to wrap up my stream. Uh, at the very least, people will have heard this uh, in the recording, because the recording should have captured the end of it. But uh, thank you so much for joining me on the stream. Um, uh, I'll take a photo of what we've accomplished today and put it on my Twitter, so check that out. And uh, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend, and I will see you on Thursday for more streaming. So thank you very much, and have a great evening. Goodbye. I'm going to still keep talking because I'm not sure if this has actually stopped or not. I don't know what's going on with my computer. This is kind of a nightmare.